Hi guys, I'm Nick and this is Cat Micro TV. For all our CAD Micro Solutions PCB designers and mechatronics enthusiasts around Canada, you guys are going to be super excited to see what I just found. I'm here with Simon Freed from Nano Dimensions, and uh, next to me we have the Dragonfly. So, Simon, in your own words, can you just explain to everybody at home what uh, what we're looking at over here? Of course, yeah. So, welcome to the Nano Dimensions booth. What you're looking at is essentially a 3D printer that's printing polymer and metal at the same time. And these are not regular polymers, these are polymers targeting the electronics industry. So for guys that are familiar with materials like FR4, which have to have very specific dielectric properties, these are baked into the polymer. And that means this printer is printing out of Gerber files, immediately you can print multi-layer uh, PCBs, which you can then assemble in a completely traditional way. So they support traditional assembly, reflow, hand soldering, uh, anything that you'd normally be doing with your board, it's downstream compatible, but it's also upstream compatible to your design software. So however you design currently, we'll port that over into the system, and then you hit print a few hours later, maybe overnight, depending on the size and complexity, you've got a board that's ready to go. Oh wow, and are we doing flex and, and rigid boards as well? Yeah, I mean at the moment we're focusing initially on rigid materials, but some of the new developments that we've got are actually focusing on enabling flex, and then, because it's a 3D printer, you can imagine a scenario where you're going to have the ability to connect rigid areas with flex areas. You're, gonna, you're not going to be able to skip having connectors, because you can do that all in one flush print. And some even more exciting news that we announced quite recently is beginning to work on embedding the components as you print, allowing you to imagine a future where we're not printing PCBs anymore, because we've got rid of PCBs. We said design is free, and you can get structural and electrical functionality out of the same part. Oh wow, and, and how many of these do we actually have in the world right now, Simon? Well, you're looking at one of very few. We started our pilot launch of these systems in Q4 of last year, and we're at the moment being very careful about exactly where we install the next couple of batches, but the fuller commercial release is going to be towards the end of the year. Well, that's fantastic. Well, hey guys, you know what? You heard it here first. If you want to be the first to own one of these in Canada, you make sure and give Cad Micro Solutions a call, okay? Simon, right. I know you're busy. Thank I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank guys, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I'm Nick. This is Cad Micro TV. We'll see you soon.